Today we're going to make this perfect pizza in the big green egg. Hi, I'm Vincenzo from Nea in Amsterdam and in the last two weeks I showed you how to make dough and how to make sauce and now we're going to make pizza. So we're now going to stretch a pizza and we're going to top it with some very easy ingredients, very basic ingredients, which is the tomato sauce that we made and the provola and smoked mozzarella and we're going to finish with some uh, pecorino romano. But let's stretch our pizza. So we try to stretch the pizza in a way that it's um, nice and uniform in terms of like uh, thickness of the of the disc so we don't want to have any parts that are thinner than others you know just let's try to make it even and it's gonna work okay so I started to um, stretch the um, the dough ball in the semola um, so this will prevent uh, the dough ball to stick to our surface and once the pizza is stretched I mean don't worry about imperfection, just worry about the fact that the pizza is a disc that is not too thin in some spots because that might collapse and your pizza will break. So we're going to start with our sauce and of course this is the sauce that we made um, in the previous video so you can go to the to the link um, and check how we made the sauce. This is the easy sauce so a little bit easier to make and we're going to add some basil leaf. We always try to put the basil under the cheese because it's, it's an herb that is going to burn very fast at these temperatures, so we want to protect and that's why we're going to add the cheese after. This is provola, which is smoked mozzarella. For this recipe, we used uh, smoked mozzarella, uh, but of course you can use just um, non-smoked mozzarella, just a regular one. Um, alternatively, you can even smoke the mozzarella in the big green egg, but that's maybe for a more advanced recipe. So after we stretched our pizza and um, we put the toppings on it, so we are going to have it on the pizza peel this way. We try to be very careful because at this point the dough is very rested and very soft. So our uh, big green egg is uh, set at uh, 290 degrees um, with the stone being preheated for 20 minutes before. Um, so we want the stone not to exceed 300 degrees Celsius. Um, that's going to burn your pizza. And we're going to cook for approximately four minutes, depending on the, um, the way you like your pizza as well. If you want it a little bit more crunchy, you can leave it a little bit longer inside um, and we're going to check soon what's going to happen here. As you saw, I walked, like, as we say, the pizza on the pizza peel um, and I didn't go like this. It's just to prevent you to make damage in your dough by doing this. You control way more what you're doing if you are holding the pizza itself and you are transporting it on the pizza peel. That's how we like it. Okay, let's check what we have here. Voila! This is the perfect pizza in the big green egg and we're going to slice it now. Nice and crunchy. And we're going to shave some nice pecorino romano cheese on all the pizza, especially on the crust, because we want to get the best out of this dough. So now you know how to make a perfect pizza. Check this out. And tune in next week for another pizza recipe. And don't forget to check out the video description and see you next week.